guys. So, I'm back again this month with the March, and I'm not going to fold this in good, Simply Earth Essential Oil Recipe Box. Y'all know I've been getting these for at least a year now. It's been a while that I've been getting these. Oh, it's over a year because I've been using the Wild Root deodorant for exactly a year. Actually, a little bit longer, about like two months. And um, these have been even longer. So, let's dive in. We're going to talk a little bit today about Simply Earth in general, why Simply Earth and why not use another company. And we're also going to talk about what's in this fabulous box and this month's theme. So, this month's talking points. And I love this finished piece of paper. If we can think about it. So these are the things I really want to cover in today's video. So I talk a lot about my code for my ambassador, my ambassador code. Uh, that's a forty dollar gift card. You're gonna if you if you use the code to get the gift card, you're gonna get the gift card emailed to you separately. It's not gonna go directly into that order that you're doing right then. Okay. Um. If you would like to be a Simply Earth ambassador, which is what I'm doing. You can sign up for that on their website. What you get with that is sneak peeks of products and promos and early product announcements. You also get to be involved in all these things and rewards. They do uh, a contest for the ambassadors that you could win. Tons of stuff. And they give you a ton of information on essential oils just in case you're somebody that just likes it. Like I'm not somebody that wants to sell it. That I'm not trying to make money off of my friends doing it. I just really like using them in my house. And if y'all have been with my blog for very long, you know that, I mean, like all the way back, we must have been living in Thibodeau, so like 2011, 2012. My allergies are just so bad. When I start cleaning and using regular cleaning products, I spend the rest of the day feeling like I have a cold. Like I take allergy medicine nightly because my allergies are so awful. And so back then is when I started using the essential oils that I could find at Walgreens to make cleaning products. So I started using tea tree oil and just doing what I can and using vinegar. And everything's just so much more accessible now than it used to be. So, I mean, that's why one of the reasons I really love Assembly Earth is they have such a wide variety of products. They're super accessible. Not only do they send me essential oils, but they give me ideas about what to do with those essential oils. And they tell me things I never thought about doing with them, which is so cool. Um, so, some more stuff. Why I like Simply Earth compared to other brands. I've reviewed some other brands over the years now on the blog. Let me close this box so I can talk and wave around. I've reviewed some other brands over the years. I also have two brands that I will not use. Um, I don't really know if I want to mention them in the video. You talk to me in person, I'll tell you. Anyway, there's some brands that are, it's in the multi-level marketing kind of realm of essential oils. I don't like it because they're overcharging. You're then paying for the product you're paying for the person that's selling it to you. I just lost my paper. Like you're, because of the chain of command, you're paying like all these people for this essential oil. And if you get direct to consumer stuff, or you know, you're buying from like an actual store, the price goes down. And these really are, I mean, compared to all the stuff I've used over the years, these are fabulous quality. The smell, I mean like this, this weekend, happy joy from last month. I just needed something perky. And so I put a, I put Happy Joy in every diffuser in the house and my whole house just smelled incredible because it has a lot of like off put and not in the way of like fragrance where you're like coughing and hacking because my splayed, sprayed Glade fragrance in your house. No, it's like enjoyable and nice and no one's gonna have an allergy attack when they come over to your house. Second thing, let me go get my paper back. Ah! All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about Value of Simply Earth, like I said, the cost is really good. The bottles are all on their website. Some of the bottles cost a little bit more than others, and that's because if you were to get, like one of the ones I used to really like to buy that I haven't bought in a while is vanilla, because I like to do vanilla, rosemary, and lemon together. That smells incredible. It smells like the, uh, what's that home store? Sonoma? I don't know, I can't think of it right now. Anyway. It smells so good, but it's expensive. So you have to expect that. So some of them, even though they're all the 15 mil bottles, some of your oils are gonna cost a little bit more than others, but that's because of the, the, it's just a more expensive oil is what it boils down to. But at no point are you gonna be paying like $50 for one bottle of oil because they're not overcharging. They're competitively priced. They have high quality stuff. And then you really get your bang for your buck with them compared to other companies. Next up. So recipe box subscribers get free access to our essential oil hero course where you can learn how to use the essential oils. You also get emails. I mean, not like, and I'm not saying this is in 
oh my gosh, I get emails. Like every time I open my email account, it's just straight essential, you know, simply earth stuff. That's not it. That's not what I'm saying. You get emails that tell you more information about the oils, like with the March stuff. We've been getting a few emails this week with like, hey, this is what's showing up. This is how to use it. Did you know this about tea tree oil? Just informative stuff that if you're really into essential oils or you want to get into essential oils, you've got the information. Next on the list of things we need to talk about today. Um, of course, the essential oil recipe box teaches you how to use the essential oils, which is why they give you the recipe. And then last, everything's fun to use. I honestly look forward to it. When I get an email saying that this is showing up, I get excited. Oh, I need to turn my paper over. Let's go to the other side. So this month's box, the, the theme is beauty. So all of your oils are beauty related. And I really love that tea tree is one of them in here because my mother has used tea tree for as long as I can remember on her feet. We had a boxer who was terrified of the tea tree. If she took it out, he started carrying on and making all sorts of racket because he hated it. She, it's a girl boxer, it was Fanny. So here's what we got. So this month's box is teaching you about uh, healthy beauty products you get, let me count it, one, two, three, four, five, six recipes for natural beauty products. They cover like a whole range of things. I'm about to go through what they are. Uh, but six natural personal care products. So your oils are amorous. And I'm not getting that close. I know I'm like way far away today. So you've got amorous. That is, let me tell you about this one. It's a woody and van with a vanilla note. It has a very, I opened this a little bit earlier. It has a very woody smell. This one's from Haiti. I always like seeing where these things are from and where they're grown at. I feel like I can't figure out what to do with my hair. I took my hair down, worked out, and then went, oh snap, I gotta make my video today. Tea tree, my family favorite. This is an Australian one. Medicinal and woody. And I do see the medicinal. I get very much medicinal. I don't get wood out of this, but I guess it's because it just reminds me of medicinal. The last single oil you have. Don't judge me if I can't say this. Y'all know my pronunciation is terrible. Palmarosa. That's from Nepal and that's sharp and floral. Let me give you a good because this isn't one I've used a lot. It is really, you get like a sharp, like sharp something, almost like a lime. You know when you cut into a lime, you get that sharp smell. Not that it smells like lime, but you get that kind of sharp, sharpness. And then kind of, it's like you're outside and you get all the little flowery scents with it. Then finally, your blend for the month is Beauty Within. I need a better place to set my stuff today. I'm afraid I'm gonna move the camera. So Beauty Within contains myrrh, frankincense, rosemary, and lavender essential oil. Y'all, I'm about to be making a face oil out of this because this has a few things in it that has been in my face oil that I made that I'm about to run out of. I'm like, love these essential oils. And uses is to regain your the youthfulness of soft, smooth skin naturally. It just smells like all my favorite beauty products mixed together. When you smell this, you're gonna think, oh, I've smelled some beauty products that smell like that, but it's natural. It's not something that you like dug out from elsewhere. Now, as always, these are super cute stickers. I'm gonna get this a little bit closer so you can see it. They've changed the fonts on some of them recently and they're always doing different colors. And it's so cute. The new uh, kind of handwritten font that's been on a lot is adorable. I really love it. Now, let's go over what's in the box. You have castor oil. I love this. This is great for your hair. I have a feeling when I dig in that that's going to be what is in the hair serum. You also have some vegetable glycerin. We're going to get into what that goes with. This is for the lip balm. You need a lip balm container. Actually, two lip balm containers. I have a feeling this beetroot powder goes with the lip balm. I'm so excited about that one. Uh, so let's look and see what the rest of these are. I'm gonna toss that behind me so I can kind of talk through these. So you've got a hair growth support serum. And I was right, that's where the castor oil goes and it's got the beauty within in it. Y'all, that'd be like a great hair mask. I'm hold back because we need to talk about that card again. You have grow and flow hair mask. That's castor oil again with the beauty within. Ooh, with some other stuff. Palmares is in that one. We've got also beautiful skin roll on. What is this? Apply. Oh, this is for acne prone areas. I need that because why someone in their mid thirties has hormonal acne is beyond me. So you're going to use your coconut oil. If you get your big box, 
that'll be in that. So you've got, you already have a lot of these things. They're already in your uh, other boxes you've gotten, but that's a fractionated coconut oil and you're gonna use one of your roll-ons. The roll-on is not in this month's box, but when you've ordered your big box, which I can't take out because my camera's currently propped up on it, but that big bonus box has the coconut oil and the roll-on in it. That's gonna be fun to make. That'll be a good nightly routine something. Natural Beauty Diffuser Blend. Y'all know I love my diffuser blends. This is the Beauty Within, the Tea Tree, and the Amorous. I can't wait to mix that and see what it smells like. We're gonna read the note from Katie in a second too. DIY Shiny Pink Lip Balm. Told y'all, I knew that was somewhere. Beeswax, coconut oil, castor oil, glycerin, beetroot. Lip balm too, so I'll just need to get some beeswax. So if you don't have beeswax, I think that's the only thing you need to grab out of that for this month. And then the last one is the Soothing Facial Essence. Y'all know that's popular right now in Korean beauty stuff, or it's been in popular in Korean beauty stuff and it's just now making its way to us. So, and that is water, Pomerosa, Beauty Within, a coffee filter, almond oil, the vegetable, vegetable, I can talk, vegetable glycerin. Oh, and a spray bottle. And I've got, I think I got a spray bottle I didn't get to a few months ago. So I'll be making that one to spray it on your face. All right, so the last two things I wanna talk about, and then I'm gonna let y'all go today, is this. So the purposes of the oils, because I always go over those every time we do a video. We hadn't done a video in a, while, in a while, so that's what we're doing today. So for the Amorous, this is calming, and it's cleansing, and it's good for skincare. It's child safe for two and up, but you need to dilute it. Tea tree uplifts, cleanse skincare. I knew that because I mean we've always used it. Child safe two and up as well. And then let's see, Pomerosa calms, soothes pain, skincare. All these are skincare. That's another good kid safe two and up. Beauty within improves skin's appearance. I'm so excited about this blend. And that's a kid safe for ten and up. Your extras this month, like I already went through, is castor oil, beetroot powder, and vegetable glycerin. And all the safe recipes were created and tested by the aromatherapist. Now, on the note from Katie, let's see if there's anything new. No, just I think I covered everything. I think I've covered everything. But make sure you're following Aromatherapy Katie on Instagram and Facebook, and she will not lead you astray in all your essential oil fun. So you got any questions if you've used any of these if you've subscribed tell me what you think about it because y'all know how much I love it so let me know what y'all think do you want to keep seeing these videos do you want me to keep working with it with simply earth have you purchased any other oils comment below comment on the blog comment on Facebook or Instagram because you know I'm gonna put stuff up there too see you later bye